So in this problem, we have a body of mass 5 kilos is pulled along a rough horizontal table by a horizontal force of magnitude 50 newtons against a constant friction force of magnitude 5 newtons. OK, so let's draw a diagram so we can visualise what's going on. So here is the body, OK? Uh, and that has a mass of 5 kilos. Now it's on a rough horizontal table, so let's draw in the table. Now it's being pulled along by a force of magnitude 50 newtons, so I'm going to draw that one there so that it's pulling it to the right. Okay, That's really my choice, but that's the way um, I'm going to visualise it. And it's got a constant friction force of magnitude 5 newtons, so I've got 5 newtons working to the left against me. Now, there's also going to be uh, the particle's weight working downwards, and we've got the normal reaction force, which is R, working upwards. Okay. Now, the particle is accelerating to the right, and I'm going to label that as A. Okay. So this is the situation. So to find the acceleration of the particle, I need to resolve horizontally in the direction of the acceleration. I'm going to take that direction as positive. It makes it a your life a whole lot easier if you do. So we've got the 50 newtons working to the right. I've got the 5 newtons working to the left. Okay. So this is the resultant force, the net force. And that's going to be equal to the mass times acceleration, F equals MA. So the mass is 5, the acceleration is A. So 50 take away 5 is 45, divide by 5 gets me 9. So A is 9 metres per second per second. So there's our acceleration. Now the next part asks us to find the distance travelled by the body in the first 3 seconds. The moment distance is mentioned, it brings in the SUVAT equations, the old favourites. So the constant acceleration formula that I've got here is what we now need to use. So, we want to find that distance. We know u, that's zero, because the body's initially at rest. So the initial velocity is zero. We don't know the final velocity, okay? We don't want to find it either. Well, we're not asked to find it. The acceleration is nine. The time, the first three seconds, so that's three. So we want the equation that doesn't involve v, which is the third equation. So s is equal to u times t, 0 times 3, so 0, plus 1 half times a, which is 9, times by uh, t squared, so 3 squared, which is 9. So s is equal to 1 half times 9 times 9, so half of 81, so 81 over 2, which is equal to 40.5 metres. So that's how far the body travels in the first three seconds. Last part, find the magnitude of the normal reaction between the body and the table. Okay. Now, we know that we've got this weight working directly downwards. Now, weight is mass times gravity. Okay. Now, if I take the gravity as 9.8, Okay, the question doesn't specify. I'm going to take it as 9.8. Maybe the question you're working on in the exam might say 10, might say 9.81. Okay, use that if it says. So we've got the mass is 5 times by 9.8. So that would be 49 newtons. Okay, there's our weight. Now, to get the normal reaction force, I'm going to have to resolve vertically. I'm going to take up as positive, because that's the direction of the normal reaction. So we've got the R working upwards. I've got the weight working downwards, so that's the 49 newtons. And that's going to be equal to mass times acceleration. But we're not accelerating vertically, so the acceleration in the vertical direction is zero. So that means that R is also 49 newtons. And this makes sense, because these forces must be equal and opposite. Otherwise, the body is going to sink into the ground, into the table. Or, if the normal reaction force was more than the weight, then 
um, the particle would be floating off into th the air, okay? which wouldn't make any sense either. So that is how we can solve these three problems.